going, everybody? I'm Jackson Hawkins Kimmel. And I'm Jameson Hawkins Kimmel. And together, we are the Brothers Wild. All right, this is our second hiking adventure in Yellowstone National Park, and we've come to the Yellowstone River picnic area. And it's about 55 degrees right now, hour and a half after sunrise or so, which is a great time to find wildlife and come to a great place to do it as well. So let's work the ridge line and see if we can dig up. In today's episode, we're on a thrilling chase after the yellow-bellied marmot. Stunning close-ups of grasshoppers, antelopes, and bisons. All right, everyone. See on that big rock over there? There's a chubby yellow-bellied marmot over there. Yeah, he's pretty far in the distance, but let's see if we can inch closer, get a closer shot. Wow. That is quite a big yellow-bellied marmot. Now, marmots are in the rodent family, and just like ground squirrels and prairie dogs, they'll dig burrows, and they're often preyed by badgers. Now, the reason he's uh, so chubby is because he has to get really fat for the winter, so that all that body fat and stuff can keep him warm while he's in his underground hole. Wow, what a neat find. <laughs> oh, he's a truck suit. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Wow. Wow. Dude, look at this cool grasshopper we found, people. And as you can see, its back legs right here are reddish orange. Now, those little spikes on its back legs there, this, with, this is with crickets and grasshoppers, they'll rub their legs together like this, and it makes that sound you normally hear from crickets and grasshoppers. Pretty cool. Yeah, they. I think they try to display for the females. I'm pretty sure. Wow, everybody! What we're looking at here is a pronghorn antelope. Probably the fastest land mammal in the United States. They can run up to 75 miles per hour. Now, actually, they're only they're the second fastest land mammal in the world, next to the cheetah. So they are lightning quick when they run. So when coyotes and wolves try and catch them, they gotta be quick too. Although one of the main predators for baby pronghorns is actually eagles and hawks, because they'll just swoop down and kill them, then they'll feed on them. Wow, wow everybody. What we're looking at right here is an American bison, also known as the buffalo. Now, uh, this is a male bison, and they can weigh up to one ton as they are, well, obviously very large. Probably one of the largest land mammals in the nation, might be the largest. Now, we've seen all kinds of buffalo chips and wallows and stuff along the trail, and it seems like this is the culprit of those. Now, males are almost always alone, except during the rut, which is usually going on right about now, but you probably, there's a herd down there, so he's probably the boss of that herd. Now the rut is when they breed and have babies. And also when the males fight over each other and sometimes they'll fight to the death. So this is a very unique and interesting find. Wow, what a day this has been so far. Wow, look at this people. We've just found a Mormon cricket, a common cricket found in Yellowstone and the surrounding area. And usually they live out in the tall prairie grass and sagebrush. Now what's really weird about Mormon crickets is on their butt, they have that big spike right there. I have no idea what it's used yeah, for. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Now, you hear that loud, screechy sound? Kind of sounds like grasshoppers, but not. Those are actually Mormon crickets. because we've been looking for them all day, but they sure hide real well. Good spot on it, Jackson. Now, it looks like it might be like armor plated, but when you touch it, it's really soft. And just beware when you pick it up, because as soon as Jackson picked it up, it puked all over his hand. That's a defense mechanism that grasshoppers and crickets use. Look at the size of these legs. 
Wow, he must be able to jump pretty far, although they're not very fast at doing it. You know what else they ask about more crickets? They don't have wings either. No, they don't. Maybe they're too big. But anyway, wow, we've been looking for this for a while. This is a good place to see one. And man, what a strange find. Wow, look at this, everybody. We are looking at a, what is it, a Uenta ground school? Uenta ground school. Now, these are common throughout the prairies and sagebrush, although they have to be careful moving through here because they're prey by, on by a lot of predators. Badgers, eagles, falcons, even grizzly bears. And when we stumbled upon him, he was actually standing up like he is right now. And he's like pulling some seeds and stuff off plants to get fat for the winter. Well, everyone, this pulls the plug to a visit at Yellowstone Picnic Area. And boy, we had some amazing wildlife encounters. And while trekking through what is the beginning of America's Serengeti, which is why I think you should definitely add this trail to your list of places to explore in Yellowstone National Park. I'm Jameson Hawkins Kimmel. And I'm Jackson Hawkins Kimmel. And, and together, we are the Brothers Wild. Bye, everybody. Keep it wild.